style that Pelly is known for. We've seen timeouts at the likes of Smashpoint. We've seen scintillating moves since. Let's see how Pelly's return to Smash goes as he comes face to face with Jezo here at Boss Battles Phase 1. SBF is the, while well, DQing the air, uh, is the, the starting choice here. Yep, yeah, so, the, uh, yeah, the small battlefield type of SPF, the one that's remaining in the tournament, of course. Pelly is starting aggressively just to say, all right, let's get some percent on, and then I can go to the usual game plan. Because the thing is, Rob's game plan does get interrupted quite a lot by Sonic. Sonic will low profile under a lot of gyro throws because it goes higher than the height of a spin dash ball sometimes. Uh, Jezo just needs to get up close and personal. Sonic also really, really good at dodging the lasers from from Rob because he can start off in a spin dash and just jump out of it if he wants. But nevertheless, finding those back airs, really good start. Yeah, we want to see Rob using the gyro. Obviously, we've seen it control the stage before. Pelly running into it that time. We saw a gyro earlier connect into a lovely arm rotor there from Rob. But you have to think Ooh. that controlling that stage, cutting Sonic off is what you want to do. The extended hitbox coming out because of that gyro being thrown at Rob. But the spin dash is going to come in here. Rob is going to throw those hands, but an offset situation has been creating. And when you're as wide as Rob and Sonic's as fast as he is, you got to get off that ledge as fast as you can. Oh, but just the, the hop of Spin Dash going over the gyro. You can low profile the gyro, you can go straight over it, you can invincibility tank through it, and eventually you might find an F-Tilt at ledge to take that stock away. Actually, yeah. places the spring so that Jezo has to act out of that invincible landing, by the way. It's a trick you don't see too often, but it's definitely something Sonic can do to deal with l respawn invincibility. Jezo was up in the skies. I love the patience. Oh, <laughs> and Pelly's yeah. up in the skies. Good grief. There. There's a great up smash. There we go. I love the patience we saw there from Pelly at that ledge trap situation we saw just before that stock was taken, where Pelly had the choice of either running into a gyro or a back air by Rob, and he went, ah, oh, just, just do neither. Rob looking a box with Sonic, and the hop from the spin dash is going to oh. launch him straight in. Drifting out nicely to avoid that follow up from Sonic is Jezo, but Sonic once again establishes stage control. Neutral aerial into just a lovely little elf tilt to just get Rob away. But stopping dead on that shield, it wasn't a very charged spin attack, but the homing attack from center stage, Pelly only really did that because he was about to land on Gyro, otherwise I might as well attack instead of just land on it. The double jump was already gone, but it happened to traverse the entire stage to land that bit of chip damage. Homing attack, it was so bad in the last two games, and now for ultimate, it's just amazing, and it's it's kind of funny unless you're a Sonic hater. Yeah, we we seen their Pelly's going from one side of the stage to the other, just using that spin dash gyro still in hand. Yeah. Not giving it up. Rob cannot oh. get it back, but the upper is going to take the gyro out and take Sonic for some percent. As we go, we've seen that back air come out again, and Pelly once again just playing super patient at ledge, just saying, no, 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 I don't fancy interacting with any of that. I'll just wait over here and then hit my moment, taking that mm. time to land that forward air and drilling Rob at 121 off stage. I love the use of the spring again to make sure that invincibility for Jezo isn't going to be there. Woo! Oh my lord! This huge spin dash into a back air, into a gyro, into a forward air. That was a scintillating, lovely little combo that we saw the blue blur pull out to get 36% on Rob and just charging that spin dash conditioning just to be like oh yeah i'll just hold this as long as i want and when i'm ready i'll either let it rip and run at you yep. or I'll let it rip sonic. and get away from you sonic one of the best characters in the game at fighting with a gyro in hand because he can quite competently take the fight to you with just the b button yep. you know you got min min you've got sonic and you've got a couple other characters that can just say all right i'll sacrifice my a moves for a bit and just fight with my specials pally can do that all day long as long as he can recover safely, he cannot! I love that down air read on the air dodge there. Jezo taking advantage of Pelly's offstage. You know, Sonic has a pretty decently easy time recovering and shows why he's so good in the air there as well with that huge back air knocking Gyro out of hand. Jezo does Ooh. not want to come down, but instead lands a back air into a Gyro throw. 26%. It is anyone's game here at this point. Jezo just got to play really patient with this Gyro, control this stage, dodge those spin dashes, which are proving, which have proven fatal for robots in the past. And we will see the Gyro is going to hit. Oh, looking for something huge on that re grab instead of using the net sent up. And now the Gyro is just taking control of the stage. Jezo has kept this close all the way through. Every time it felt like Pally was starting to run away with it, Jezo said, hang on, I'm still in this. And with a good read on maybe the spin dash landing. No, actually, Pally manages to get the full charge. <laughs> Recovery was technically interceptable there, there if he go. wanted to attempt a two frame though. Jezo is having these little moments where all of a sudden he could just creep into the lead. 
Hitting backwards aerial there, not once, not twice, but thrice. And the third attempt is the one that's going to tack on that bit. Ah, oh, there's the low profile. Under laser. You talked about it before, and there it is. Just saying, that's all right. I don't care about your laser. It's too thin to hit me now. Spin dashing under, connecting with that multi-hit spin dash, and leading off with that forward aerial. Rob was not as sort of unseated as potentially you may think with a character like Sonic who can weave around him so quickly. And as you say, we saw that gyro come in so handy at the end. It tacked on so many little extra bits of percent. If we can see that on a similarly sized stage for the entire game this time, I think we could be in with a decent chance of seeing Jezo take a bit of this set back. Yep, I agree. Don't bother switching to Pyro and Mithra at this stage. The Rob was working plenty well enough. Stick to your guns. See if it can work in game two. If we can get a bit more gyro accuracy, then that would be perfect. It obviously missed at the most critical moment in the final game. It's so hard to get Sonic, but we're back to small battlefield. And now <laughs> Sonic just straight up running away from that yeah. gravity. <laughs> of course he will. That's what Sonic does. He just runs. The, the spot dodge from Jezo is going to go to a dash attack Ooh. in a double fair instead here. Oh, I love the attempt on the armor, <laughs> but Pelly missing the grab punish, so, you know, all's well that ends well, I suppose. We saw the back air coming so useful as well, and we're yeah. thinking Jez will likely use it, but instead we see the up air and back air coming out from the blue blur instead. Are we going to get another attempted read? A little bit late on the spike attempt instead on reaction. It wasn't going to find its mark. The back air will. Yeah, Jump's gone as step. well. Jezo's got to slowly trudge his way back to stage, and he shall not pass. The big back air from Pelly and another spring under the respawn platform to say, you can't land here, Jezo, stop! Sure, stop trying, here we go. Going off stage very far. Oh, oh he won the no gyro. gyro, but oh. the back air is gonna connect instead. Two off stage stocks have been taken there. A massive back air from Pelly and an equally large one from Jezo at a notably low percent. Looking to get a read with that F smash, but instead it's Sonic who's gonna start piling on the percent with these up airs. Looking for up air back air a couple times there, but not finding it. We've seen that back air play so well into Jezo's game plan. Oh, and the Ram Road, the Ram Road to the, the Ram that is going to come out there. Side B again. One. Oh, falling out. The final hit of that tragic roundabout was almost entirely too tragic for Pelly there. Yeah, that is so unfortunate. We have to wonder what would have happened in a different world where that side be actually connected. It usually works. That's insane. I'm not going to say buff the arm rotor. I mean, the tragic roundabout was looking pretty tragic on that occasion, unfortunately. And Pelly, whoo, nearly taking a sock away. That back air could have done it. Wow, okay. up air, however, is going to be the answer that Jezza's looking for, taking a sizable lead here. 67% is all the time, but we know what Sonic can do when he's off stage, throwing the gyro up to scare Pelly back to stage and stop him, just basically saying, no, no, go away. That's coming down at some point. It's going to get you. Anyway, we see here the dash attack coming out from Pelly and going so high and getting kicked in the burner is Rob there, looking for that nair. Pelly the stole the gyro. Again. And the spring this time intercepted the Rob combo from center stage. It wasn't just respawn it was dealing with. It was those low aerial combos from Rob to say, ah, 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 you can't land there. Spring is going to do this, but Jezo is still in a great position to maybe steal a game away from one of our top seeds. At the end of the day, Pelly is the more respected and well-known players, but who's the one who's been getting the results recently? That's Jezo. With his regen, with Brentwood Brawl, a bit of everything he's been attending, Pelly is just getting the dust off the controller right now, but it's working out fairly well on this last stock. The gyro is out in the back Ooh. air. He's going to come in. Here we go. This could be... Oh, if that ledge trap had gone a different way, perhaps we could have seen something huge coming out there for Jezo. Instead, that last little hit of the neutral air from Sonic, the spin attack, is going to come in, and the spin dash is going to connect into the back air. Jezo's got to be so scared, drifting oh, I above love that, landing. that. That was an excellent landing, but the up air into the back air is going to connect things. They're looking pretty dire for the robotic operating buddy. Will you dodge around that spring? You don't want to have to be put into a tech check at the side of the stage. Back throw is not quite enough, but the next one probably will be. Gyro is not in hand. He tried to bounce it off the stage and pick it up, but it was too low. And the back air from Pelly will secure the win in the end. That was a fantastic performance from Jezo to really make you wonder, is Pelly going to lose this? Yeah, it's it's going to lose. Pelly looked at that in that set. There was a couple times when it's like, ooh. Jezo's done something insane. That's going to hit and that's going to kill. And it did. The back airs, the gyro worked really, yeah. really well. Game two, especially game two. Game one, uh, towards the end, obviously, it came in very well. And here we see one of the highlights from the game. Here's the bit where Pelly just had the gyro for like a good minute or so. As the clock ran down, Rob just got a taste of his own medicine. Homing attack, gyro, mm -hmm. forward air. 
I wonder if he could have gone even further with that. It's not as though Pelly's going to be practicing those gyro combos, but the turnaround aspect of it was magnificent. And 100% hit rate, by the way, from Sonic's up air. It works every time of asking. Sonic's up air, famously unreliable, unless you're against Rob, because he's so large that the move will just work as intended for once. So wide, so hard to just get around things. And we see here the back Ooh. air just reading that recovery, the slow and low recovery, looking like just like a slow cooked meat with how ready and edible that was for Pelly there. Just taking the opportunity, bearing Sonic's fangs, kicking Rob out of this winner side bracket as we see Pelly advance. You know it. So, I'm not sure if we've got any games left. Wave B has been uh, 